Hey everyone, it's Danya Fami here, CEO of Sustainable Health Solutions and founder and formulator for Dropwise Essentials. And it's the day before Thanksgiving, happy day before Thanksgiving, Wednesday. And in the spirit of giving, I wanna share with you today three of my top tips on how to enjoy a bountiful, guilt-free Thanksgiving without feeling like a slug afterwards. Okay? I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about when I say that. So are you ready? Here we go. Tip number one, you want to be mindful and strategic about what you eat. So this is, you know, contrary to popular belief, I'm not about to tell you, okay, you know, practice portion control because it's Thanksgiving for crying out loud. The whole point of the holiday is to enjoy as much food and be grateful for it. And there's always so much delicious food. So, you know, I'm not going to tell you don't eat that much, you know, or eat less. What I want to tell you, though, is pay attention to the proportion of what you put on the plate. So that's what I mean by being strategic, because what happens is where we get tripped up during Thanksgiving, it's because we eat way too many carbs, okay? Carb overload, you know, between the stuffing, the mashed potatoes, the biscuits, the muffins, the cornbread, you know, and then the dessert, you know, we have the cookies, the pie, the cake, there's so much carbohydrate in that meal. And, you know, yes, it's true the turkey has tryptophan in it, which make, can make you feel sleepy. But when you are approaching that feeling of like you're about to be in a food coma after you eat, it's not really the tryptophan, it's the carb overload. And it's made even worse by the fact if you're drinking alcohol. So if you're drinking alcohol, alcohol gets broken down into sugar pretty fast, actually, in the body. So the combination of the alcohol and then all the carbs from the meal are what make you feel like a slug you know, like a beached whale, for example, <laughs> or another way of looking at it. Uh, so that's my tip for you, my first tip, which is that load up on the veggies as much as possible and the turkey, you know, or the main protein, whatever your main protein is for Thanksgiving, because I know not everybody always eats turkey for Thanksgiving. So you want to load up on the veggies and protein, and you may find that if you eat more of those and less of the carbs, you actually feel fuller. So when it's time to come have dessert, you might be a lot less inclined to indulge and eat too much dessert. And as far as dessert goes, if you can, stick with fresh fruit, uh, maybe puddings and mousses, stay away from flour-based desserts if you can, and uh, avoid, you know, the extra super sweet stuff. I know that's hard to do, but you know, like, like I said, if you eat more protein and vegetables during the main meal, you won't have that, car that, that feeling of, oh, I want the sweet stuff afterwards. It really works trust me so that's tip number one number two is pace yourself and eat slowly <laughs> there's so much delicious food you know at the at the table and we want to eat it all and and we should I'm all for you know second servings and even third servings if you know if that's what floats your boat uh, but what I want to say is take your time while you're eating like eat slowly chew the food thoroughly and really savor the flavor okay because that's you know that's how you get the most out of it for one thing it slows down the pace and gives your body a chance to adjust and then at, wait at least 10 minutes before each serving so after you finish your first plateful wait at least 10 minutes longer if possible before you fill up your plate again and then make sure even on the subsequent rounds that you're eating slowly and really enjoying and savoring the food because that's really what it's all about so think about it this way it's a marathon not a race right so there's no prize for finishing first or eating the most food <laughs> so you know just listen to your body that's the other piece and if it's telling you i'm full stop eating okay there's no shame in asking for a plate that you can take home with you to enjoy later in the evening or the next day. Yeah, so like extend the holiday and make it last longer by enjoying and savoring the food for a second day if possible instead of trying to cram it all in into a short period of time. Because when we eat too much food in too short a span of time, that's what makes our bodies go a little haywire and then we get feel bloated and crappy and more like beached whales than happy campers, right? Makes sense, right? Uh, so that's tip number two. Number three, drink lots of water and stay hydrated. Okay, so this is especially important if you're drinking alcohol, okay? If you are drinking alcohol, make sure you drink a full glass of water between each drink, regardless of what type of alcohol you're drinking. Um, that'll help you stay hydrated. It gives your liver a break, and it really reduces the chances of you having a nasty hangover the next day. And even if you're not drinking alcohol, drink a lot of water because it helps your body process all that extra food, okay? It's a lot of food in there, so we want to get some fluid in there and help your body with that 
digestive process. And so that's tip number three. And then I have a bonus tip for you, which is to help support your body even further in digesting all that extra food. Instead of having coffee with your dessert, cap your meal off with a cup of ginger tea or peppermint tea, you know, or if you don't have access to those things, uh, just a cup of hot water with lemon in it will do the trick. And if you can add a pinch of cayenne powder, even better. I usually carry like a, a couple of tea bags with me, like ginger, peppermint, sometimes chamomile. So I'm always prepared wherever I go. If I need a little boost after eating to help me digest, then I, I know I have what I need with me instead of worrying about whether I can find it at the restaurant or at the party or wherever I'm, it is that I'm going. The other thing I do is I keep a small vial of peppermint essential oil with me. And that's actually also another excellent quick way to help. So if you can't get to some peppermint tea or ginger tea, you can take out your little vial of peppermint oil, and just put a tiny drop on your tongue, swish it around in your saliva, swallow it, and that can really help aid uh, improve your digestion after eating a lot of food. So those are my three tips right there. Just to recap, tip number one, you want to be mindful and strategic about what you put on your plate and what you eat. That's number one. Number two, you pace yourself and eat slowly. So take long breaks between servings. And don't worry about the portion control, just take time. And if you do step number one or tip number one, it should help you a lot too. And then the third tip is to hydrate. So drink a lot of water. And by the way, you can also drink coconut water, which is an excellent way to hydrate because it's naturally high in electrolytes. Just make sure you're drinking coconut water that doesn't have added sugar in it. And then the bonus tip to help you digest even better is to have a, a cup of peppermint or ginger tea after your meal instead of coffee. And uh, if you can't access that, then hot water with a little lemon will do the trick. So I hope you found these tips helpful. And if you did, in the spirit of giving, I have a small favor to ask of you. Uh, if you would, could you take a few minutes to answer a few questions I have that will help me better understand how to give you even more relevant content that will help you with your health and your well-being going forward. So you can just click in the link below in the post in the title of the video I posted that and uh, just answer a couple of questions and it would really mean a lot to me if you could do that. And uh, thanks again for indulging me and many blessings to you and your family for a very, very happy Thanksgiving. Bountiful, guilt-free, remember. Okay, bye now.